Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. And this is gonna be an update on a new pair of glasses that I just got. But before I do that, I wanted to show you some other stuff that I got recently, uh, which has to relate to Oakley. And as you guys can see on the background there, got a, a new pair of Oakley shoes. That is the four barrel model. Um, I'm not a uh, big, you know, on purchasing uh, shoes online. Um, I figured, you know, that's something that you actually have to try on and see how it fits and whatnot. But I really like the way these looked, so I went ahead and got them. And let me tell you, they're really, really comfortable. Uh, what's good is that they're true to size, so um, you know that's always uh, a plus. But um, I really like them. Uh, they're very low key uh, and look really cool uh, for Oakley. A lot of people don't know that Oakley makes shoes, so. Um, I picked these up and, you know, if, if you're interested, you know, check them out on their website. And you might be asking what this is over here. Well, it's a roll of paper towel, uh, your ordinary run-of-the-mill paper towel. And what does that have to do with Oakley? Well, basically this right here. That's the, uh, the top of the paper towel holder. Now, what's cool about that is that it's actually not a paper towel holder made by Oakley. Uh, this is... Um, a product that I had seen on the forums, on the Oakley forum, on oreview.com, and they were talking about this um, this paper towel holder that just so happens to you know resemble the Oakley icon. So I went to the container store, which is where they said um, it was at, and I picked it up. I thought it was really really cool. I actually needed one for my house anyway, so you know I killed two birds with one stone. But awesome awesome thing. You know, obviously I, you know, as you guys can see, I am using it but it's really cool um, and it fits your standard uh, roll of toilet, uh, paper towels. So that's that. Now, without further ado, the actual glasses. Uh, these are the ones that I got. And as you guys can see there, this is the Troy Lee Jupiter LX in polished black with gray. Um, like I've told you before, I'm trying to collect as many of the Troy Lee design, or the, I'm sorry, as many of the, as the Oakley Jupiters as I can get my hands on. And when I saw this one, I definitely knew I had to get my hands on this one. This is the Troy Lee Designs History Oakley Jupiter. Now, uh, Troy Lee Designs is actually, um, by a lot of people considered to be one of the best, um, motorcycle helmet designers out there. Uh, a lot of those funky designs that you see on motorcycle helmets generally come from Troy Lee and uh, Troy Lee Designs. So uh, I thought that was really, really cool. You can see a lot of the uh, the artwork here on the box. And as you guys can tell, this is a thicker box than the ordinary ones. You know, it's a little bit wider. And there's a reason for it. Now, this particular model actually comes in two colors. And it's almost as they inverted the colors. And I'll show you which one I got. And I'll show you, and I'll tell you the difference between this one and the other one. Now, as always, um, well, not as always, but the reason that this this box is so big is because it actually comes with a case. It's really cool. It's this uh, hard, um, almost wood-looking uh, brown case here. I'll go into that in a second. But you do get all your um, your standard documentation in the box. And because this is a you know a special design one, you get this uh, this fold out. And it's it's really cool. Fold it out. It says um sorry about that. Troy Lee Designs. It's so wide it can't fit all in frames, but got a lot of the uh, these little characters uh, on the side here, which uh, what is what's on the, or it's what was drawn on the box before that you showed. And then uh, in the back here, you've got uh, some you know information about uh, you know Troy Lee Designs and Troy Lee and everything about him and whatnot. So thought that's pretty cool. It's always cool um, when they bring these and you can learn about the uh, either the artist or the company or whatnot. And down to the box, uh, this is it's got the square O icon in the front because this is uh, since it is a Jupiter, it's part of the square O line. And when I open it up, this is the micro bag. As you guys can see, it's very plain, very simple, but really elegant. It's just your plain black bag, but it's got the uh, Troy Lee Designs uh, signature on there. And then uh, to the glasses. And like I said, this is the uh, Jupiter LX. So what that means is that it's an acetate um, frame material. So it's not your standard O matter, which is uh, the standard plastic ones like your uh, your antics and your gas cans and your fuel cells. Um, this one's actually uh, what they can do a lot more colors and a lot more variations with acetate so um, it's a little bit more malleable uh, the only drawback is if you were to leave this in your uh, in your vehicle um, it, it could warp the frame just because of you know the 
the, the consistency of the actual plastic. But as you guys can see, um, just your plain, uh, plain black, polished black frame there. You've got your gunmetal icons here, and then you have a, a chrome separator here. And then right here on the lens, the top right, you guys can see there it says Troy Lee Designs. I thought that was really cool that it's etched on the lens there. Nothing on this one. And then once you start get, getting around it, you, you start seeing some of the cool designs. See how they, uh, they incorporated this uh, kind of red and green stripe throughout the whole um, side of the glasses. Goes all the way around, all the way down the bottom. Thought that was a really, really nice added touch to it. And then on the inside, um, it kind of mimics, let me see if I can make that out. It mimics all those little cartoon designs that you saw on the outside of the uh, of the box. And then you got the signature right there. All right. And then this is the other the other leg. As you guys can see there, Oakley Jupiter LX. All right. Really awesome, awesome pair. Like I said, I'm trying to collect as many Jupiters as I can, so I was really happy to add this one to my collection. Now, the other one that they make is actually a polished white frame, and what they do is they invert the cartoons instead of being on the inside, are actually on the outside. Uh, very reminiscent of the Stanley Dunwood edition of the Jupiter. You know, you've got all that cartoons going on on the outside, but instead of being a matte white frame, it's a polished white frame. So I'm going to see if I can get my hands on that one too because uh, I think it looks really cool. But so you guys can see it follows all the way on the inside on the front right here. Um, it even kind of right there where the nose pieces would be. You could see if this will make it out. You could see them in there. So. Um, I was really happy to, to be able to add these onto my collection. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions regarding this model or, or any other ones of the Jupiter. and Or let me know if you guys want to see a more in-depth review on the shoes. Um, I figured it's a pair of shoes, you know. Huh? If you've seen a pair of shoes, you know, you can pretty much see see what see what they, if you'd like them or not. So I didn't want to do a whole review on it, just kind of show them off. So again, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, guys.